my friend and me, we have an interesting relationship. So maybe my friend decide like, hey, bro, my left ball look a bit weird. Can you help me check? He sent me a picture of his left testicle. Does your girlfriend also check your phone? This is your daily catch up. Welcome to class, kids. I feel so empowered. Oh, school. Today in <laughs> class, we are going to learn about this story. What story? Guy tell GF if she ever checks his phone, he will cheat on her on purpose. What? <laughs> yeah. How does that make sense? Sounds healthy. <laughs> no wonder you're single. So G- GF and BF have been in a relationship for actually over a year. But then oh, recently, fresh. GF has taken a turn and become very possessive and jealous. And then keep like trying to ask him about his whereabouts, and ask him whether he's talking to other girls. Mm. And then he also realized that behind his back, she was checking his phone. <gasps> I don't know how he realized. But anyway, she must have not been very good at hiding this kind of stuff. Because when he push up and then you see all the past apps, right? Then the order like different. Sunny, it's just all the messaging Clearly apps. Clearly like, someone has hacked into someone's phone. <laughs> oh, never. Are you okay, Ned? Great arrange back. <laughs> you, you <laughs> going above and beyond. Sometimes you just have to. Anyway. Why is so silent? <laughs> G- 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 <laughs> what he pushed his phone further from that. <laughs> this is how Gen Z's do the telephone now. Yeah, it's no longer this. Huh? Like last time we pick up phone like that, ma. No. Oh yeah, now because they never used a phone like that. Now it's either like that or like that. So just smartphone. Okay, anyway, so BF tried to explain to GF that he was faithful to her, but she didn't believe this. And finally, after weeks of this happening, she, he had enough and told her, if you ever check my phone again, I'm going to cheat on you on purpose. <laughs> because I'm really not cheating on you. It's such a stupid But if you want threat. to doubt me, I'll give you a reason to doubt me. Ah. Maybe she's this is protecting. Not verbatim, okay? Maybe she's been unfaithful and she's protecting. Usually the people who has cheated, right, will feel guilty. Yeah. And like... And then they'll be more sus because they've done it before. So then they feel like, oh no, is he also capable of all this? this, this, this. Mm, mm. Then they become more sus. To hide. There was actually, uh, you know, the TikTok Minecraft hopping Reddit stories. Oh, oh, I hate that so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, so half half is it. Uh, oh, right, right, right. How do they concentrate? Huh? Yeah. The headline of that Minecraft jumping story was, uh, I'm happy, I'm glad that my wife is cheating on me. Huh? So the story is that essentially they've been together since they were like 10 years old, that kind. Along the way, he had been unfaithful. So then, Eventually, when he found out that she actually had a secret Instagram account that she was using to message guys for hookups, then he felt very like vindicated almost. The plot. <gasps> or like guys. relieved maybe. Mm, so it was like what you mentioned, the project thing. Mm. No, but the plot twist here is that actually, right, she was not hooking up other people. She was talking to, she was messaging people that he cheated with. <gasps> on with. Wait, so he cheated How with, with men? men? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so then she will meet up with them the for coffee. Even more. Oh, yeah. That means I didn't see part two. Then divorce. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Okay. She became friends with all of them. Oh my gosh, she's trilogy. So smart. <laughs> Wait, but does no. he not recognize this? I think too many already, so he cannot keep up. He, che- a- he has so many like sexual partners. It, it takes either a very brave person <laughs> or a very sick person to go and meet up with the people that your husband cheated on with you with. No, no but, actually, but then if they didn't know that he was cheating then he lied to both parties. Yeah. So that brings them together to form a beautiful union. Mm. And maybe they can have a group thing. Mm. No, 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 not that kind of group Revenge thing. Group. But like, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to call him out, you know. Intervention. It's actually really not an beautiful. orgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Just need to really make it clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, in the case of the opening story that I was telling just now, right? He yeah. was really not cheating lah. Mm. But then Do she we just. We know for real. We don't know. Okay, we la, we never know enough. anything for real. That's true. Yeah, but so eventually, after he said that, yeah. she actually like got quite upset la, because I mean, clearly this is an upsetting thing to hear. <laughs> and then even though. She's gonna caught. No, even though he tried to explain that, I just said it like out of anger. I didn't. It's not that I won't actually cheat on you, you know? No. Then she didn't believe me and broke up with me the next day. Okay, like, <gasps> we haven't spoken since. Good riddance. No, yeah, I, I think so too. <laughs> They're too Be- toxic for each other. Because if this happens out of the blue, right, means it's very uncharacteristic for her, which means that something had to happen for her to suddenly feel this way. And it's either that the guy gave her reasons to do so, but what it sounds more like, right, is that maybe she started to lose feelings, maybe when talking to someone else, and then she needed either one, an excuse to break up with the guy, or find some reason to like, Suss him law because of projecting. Way to put all the blame on women. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you don't mansplain some more? <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, but honestly, he's wow. on the right track in terms of 
usually when you hear the story, right, you must go back three months ago. Mm. Three months before. Then you then you go into their individual life, right? Then you see the girl that she's like down there. Down there. Then what? She lying in her bed. Then she just wake up, right? Then she texting or whatever. Then she turn, right? Then she kissed the guy. Then the guy turned face review, right? It's another guy. She cheated first. Boom. So then now because of the guilt of her cheating, then she start thinking of all these crazy ideas of how her partner will also cheat. Mm. Then... Wow, your imagination. Oh. Or it could just be that he started looking at other girls, although he feels like he's still going to stay faithful to her. And then it cast some reason for doubt and then that escalated and they didn't communicate and then it fell apart. So it could have been out of nothing. Or maybe she's just like getting fat or something, you know? Ooh. <laughs> so she was insecure about herself. She's like, oh my God, I'm so unattractive. Mm. But actually the guy did say <laughs> that like, he felt like he could have been more understanding and patient with her and transparent about my activities. Where are the boundaries drawn with how much of partner can like have access to your phone. You know what I mean? My partner's knows my, uh, my partner's, my partner. Oh, we <laughs> got her. What's happening to this? Uh, no, hey, my partner's which one? phone. <laughs> which one? My partner's phone. <laughs> Apostrophe. <laughs> no, my, my, my partner has my ATM password. My ATM huh? card password. Stop right there. If you're checking your partner's phone, put it down right now. There you go. I saved your marriage. Now like, share and subscribe to show your gratitude. Thank you. Back to the episode. That's okay. I you feel like that's, that's my limit. That's, that's my limit. limit. <laughs> that's my <laughs> one okay, but phone cannot. Whoa. Huh? What? Yeah. Can phone cannot. She's got cannot. a lot to hide. La. Or she got no money. In this. <laughs> 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 I'll take, I'll take, take. I feel like I, I, my privacy is more important than my money. Huh, but it's your life partner. But what are your private? potential life partners? <laughs> no, but there's nothing. I just feel like you need to trust me. I'm really not doing anything. But if, I just like that I have privacy. So even after you get married or so, cannot? Can lah, like you, you want to use my phone, but then like you cannot always like, you have your own freaking phone, like, use yeah, your yeah, own yeah. phone, okay? Apparently to girls, right, it's a very big green flag if like say I take out my phone, someone texts me and then the guy intentionally looks away. Like intentionally doesn't look at her phone. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I do that on purpose eh. That's why I just said intentionally. Yeah, like, like <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying like, <laughs> not, not just my partner, my friends also. So let's say oh. now Ellie has like a notification, right? I'll just like, hmm. Look away, you know. So my problem is that I don't know whether it's ADHD or what, right? But every time I see anything <laughs> blinking or pop up, I need to look. I just need to yeah, look yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, it's normal. No, so I will just be like, but you are wired that way. <laughs> like, it's the design of it, it's of normal. the UI. It's normal. It's, you are, yeah. yeah. So exactly. Wh- so why you why you get angry? No, the, but the minute I look right, cause like notification, I so I quickly look away. Sorry. So you look yeah, first, yeah. La. But I have no choice because it blinks. It's no, like, but so when you tell the person, oh sorry, sorry, I saw that. But I no, really don't read one. She to confess to her sins. No, I really don't read one. Like, I just see like the phone light up with the time maybe. That, like, yeah. No, no. Some, some, sometimes I will apologize but when it becomes too obvious, like, I will like look at it and stare for it for like five seconds. And then <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not reading. Like my mind is just like, I'm just like drawn to it. And then my friend will just be like, <laughs> Why are you reading my text? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean so, that. we want to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> but that... <laughs> No, no, he put his phone so far. Right? On the screen, eh? No, you yeah. know what's the most stressful <laughs> is when, say for example, Shem showed me something on her phone and then mm. after that she received a text yeah. and then I have to pretend I never see it, you know oh, what I mean? Oh. Then either that or it come, I have to faster swipe it away then to protect her privacy or what. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I always, <laughs> pop, like, it'll be really obvious my eyes will go up once. Uh, to the <laughs> I don't like that. I feel very insulted. Really? Like, yeah, I help see? people open the notification. <laughs> <laughs> then you just reply. Sorry. I read it out loud. Yeah, yeah. You want me to help you? It's like, hey, your side chick message you. Are you all okay with your partner checking your phone? Both. Ned and I have each other's passwords and, and face ID um, on each face other's phone. Face ID? That means you can open her phone with your face? Yeah. And vice versa. And vice versa. And vice versa. And like we mentioned in the previous episode, like we both have each other on, on find, my, find oh, my friends find my. as well. And you all both oh. share your calendar. So honestly, your lives are very, very intertwined. Intertwined indeed. I, the calendar thing is the best. Is it not suffocating? It's not suffocating at all because then I don't have to ever... Ask her like, hey, what are you doing today? Hey, what are you doing today? And then it feels suffocating because I'm always like checking up, you know? Yeah, now you never watched TDK, man. He said it. He said multiple times. <laughs> like, it's about having the tools, right, to know the information you want to know without having to ask your partner from it because sometimes the asking makes it feel like clingy or like overbearing. Then don't ask, no? But no, I want to know. Yeah, sometimes you just want to know what. No, but what if one day you go, you went to shower, right? Then later when you go back to the bedroom, you see a slight open door, then you see her doing this to your phone. You okay? I okay ah. Like you won't feel sus, man. Hey, why she? I think more. Oh, sus I said, I said I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'll be a little bit sus, and I'll ask her like, hey, what what were you doing with my phone? Then she oh nothing, nothing. Oh then nothing ah. 
Wow, trust. Trust is strong in this one. Because like, what 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 could possibly happen? Like, I, at least I know I'm nothing to hide. So like, at most, she's probably like doing the the f- like Facebook like I am gay thing on like my status law. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone do that still? Like, at most, that was that. you. Uh. <laughs> 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 then drop bodies to go and delete his DM. Yeah, hey. <laughs> oh shit. That's, That's why I'm locked out of my own Facebook account. <laughs> <laughs> Reported. <laughs> my limit is ATM. Huh? Okay, no, phone, Alison. Phone, okay, okay. No, because ATM, I, I think like, why would you need to know? So you're doing well lah. Then why he accidentally tell people? Huh? How to accidentally uh-huh. tell? Like in, in no situation would your ATM yeah. password come out though? Like what if he like, right? hey, your password is, then he say it out. No, so I, I, I think the issue here is that your phone is a window into your life and all other aspects of your life. Mm. So say I have a friend that is not close to my partner, right? This imaginary partner of mine, right? Since <laughs> I'm single. Uh, and then, the right, my friend and me, we have an interesting relationship. So maybe my friend decide like, hey, bro, my left ball look a bit weird. Can you help me check? He sent me a picture of his left testicle. Mm. This is a high, completely hypothetical situation, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but then no because my partner has access to my phone, then she see the testicle. But that's not something that he's comfortable with, you know? Uh-huh. And there's a boundary that I have to make sure that this is a safe space between me and my friend. Ma. Mm. Yeah. So then being able to tap into that <laughs> negates that already, which I think is... Cannot lah. Yeah. So, that's I, so I don't what? think you should be able to access your partner's phone. I don't think you should be afraid to, if your partner want to use your phone for whatever purposes, sure. But looking through your shit or that, I think, I think looking through your shit is a no. But what if, for example, you yeah. open the chat and then she's just looking over your shoulder and then she just read? If it's an accident, sure. But if she's intentionally prying into your conversations, then I think that's wrong. Yeah. Wait, I have a question. Let's say, right, because you know how guys, I don't know, bro talks, right? Then you all have like <laughs> group Clearly chat no. and then you all share like maybe mm, pretty girls' photos. Like, say, let's say, yeah. And then... And so then, very stupid, typical... No, then you say things like, wow, she really 10 out of 10, I would bang her, for example. La. But all of you are attached, but you're just saying it. And then one day your partner sees the your message to the guys, right? And then she's very, very angry with you. Like, what, how would you react? Like, she thinks like... I've <laughs> never like, said anything like that before. I can't have nothing if, to hide. What if, what if ma, right? I feel like that question kind of boils down to, are you okay with your partner expressing their attraction to other people, to other people of their preferred gender? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Tough, tough. Very smart. So I think even with that, you got tears and it's similar to like the, the free pass zone, right? I think if they are like saying things like, so like Ned, for example, has made it very known that there are certain like Idris Elba, Killian Murphy, Tom Hardy, and she's like, oh my God, that's like, wow, he's so daddy, would marry him. The lead singer of Arctic Monkeys, the whole concert was like, marry me, marry me, even though I'm sitting next to her, which is completely fine. This is how my insecurities coming out. <laughs> <laughs> he died, he died, also don't let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he keep like that, right? <laughs> then he showed the ring to her face. <laughs> he pretend, he pretend he's cheering by his yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but because there are like, there are like so many degrees away of that realm of possibility that it's almost like, yeah, it's fine lah. <laughs> Natalie Portman, marry me also. But like, <laughs> if it's like someone So you brought a photo of Natalie Portman to the <laughs> Monkeys concert. <laughs> She's always on my phone, no, I'm just kidding. Ooh, that's weird. Um but so like she she is <laughs> <laughs> But why is he sleeping? Yeah, but I think if it's like if it's like someone within your circle, you know, if like there's like a hot girl or whatever, then I think that's weird for okay, like okay. your group yeah, of friends yeah, yeah. to be like talking about. She, no, like someone on the street. Then you see her group chat like the girls. Then she mm. like take a photo of someone on the street waiting for a traffic light or whatever, some hot daddy looking figure guy. Yeah. <laughs> then and then she said like, wow, this guy damn hot. One ten out of ten would bang. Okay, I honestly right would actually be okay with that. Because but is this uh, normal behavior? Like like I I okay, I know yeah. how guys can sometimes behave, right? But then after a certain age, right? No more idea. I agree. This is like very twenties behavior. My <laughs> friends still send me those, eh? <laughs> like, how do you reply? How do you reply? Nah, like, wow, not bad. Like, like, hey, got the got the butt. But it's just like a normal like casual thing but not until we'll say like we'll bang that kind. Yeah. Just I think say it's like, just like wow a... this guy really like. Like not you're not molesting like, them yeah. with your words you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just an appreciation And for... if it is like molesting them with the words and you see anything like very graphic the way you talk yeah, about them right? Yeah. Then there's a problem with this person. Yeah. Yeah. But Which you need this is coming from okay. JP. I think casual is okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, so agree lah. So in general, is can say this person like good looking or general commentary on their looks, but lasting after them is different. Mm, yeah. So it's a no. I think it's okay to appreciate beauty as it is. Yeah, I was asking Guy for a friend. Girl beauty. Mm. You're asking for a friend? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, you mean you couldn't before lah? No, I think you, she no. does it. Okay, okay, let me throw the but question back. 
Like I feel like I got. Is it the Austin now. Butler? <laughs> Your boyfriend got she scold you? Is it because you like said guys or girls hot? Oh no no no! It's a friend. A friend and his partner. No, so how would you all react uh, if your you catch your boyfriend and he have this group chat and he's like taking pictures of girls? <laughs> like, I will tease him. <laughs> you will tease him. Like, <laughs> Where is wow, this going? Wow, we'll bang Rachel uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, then they go to the bedroom. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> <laughs> as I grow up. Yeah. No, I, I don't meant it as like, so I, I'm cool. angry about that. Yeah. I just want to like tease him about it. No, but the way he talked about her, very degrading. No, that, okay, then that one I'll take a bit of offense. Mm. Yeah, but if it's just like casual one, then I'll just tease yeah. him back lah. Oh, what a bang Rachel. What the f- What the same annoying and bang Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> no, but <laughs> also I feel, like, oh. I feel like a big part of a relationship or getting to know your partner is to see how they are like with their friends. Mm. Yeah, so if how they are like, like around me versus like behind my back like with the bros or what, then they suddenly start saying a lot of degrading things about women, then I think it's like John Paul said it's a different issue there. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fair enough. I mm. should mention though, like, so like Ned and I, again, like we have each other's passcodes and like face ID and all that, right? But I think because we do that, we actually don't check each other's phones. Like, like there's just no need to because it feels like we've already have those access. The trust is there. How or, about know, with like Or are you ex- playing the reverse, reverse card? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this no, because I feel like if you don't have the access, right? And like, there's just a moment like in your life where you suddenly am them sus of your, your partner for whatever reason, right? Then because you don't have the access, you feel more of a need to like, I, I need to check the phone, you know? Like I need to check. But even on the days when you do feel sus, but because you have full access, it's almost like, there's no way there would be anything sus, ma. I got access, you know? So like, this is the highest level move, by the way. It's, it's the same as when a police, like a detective knock on the murderer's door, then the murderer opened the door. Come What's in. going on? Hi, oh I my God, you? really? I, 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 please, let me, let, I, I can, is there any way I can help? <laughs> <laughs> no, the worst one is he using his own phone, but then he switched the SIM card. Ooh. No, but, now he's, no, so now he's checking his own phone. This is the most important. <laughs> so it's your reaction, right, to this question, which, hey, can <laughs> I borrow your phone? Mm. I think if your partner says, can I borrow your phone? Your immediate like next three seconds, right? Really determines how mm. sus you are as a person. But have any of y'all like checked your partner's phone or gotten your phone checked before? And did it really affect the relationship? Don't have? Wow. I think don't have. But there was one time I just very itchy hand, right? Then I went to... <laughs> don't have but. <laughs> no. No, then I just so happened to be using Alvin's phone to play a game or whatever. Just so happened. Then, right? Then he got notification on Instagram. So I was like, oh, is this his army friend, right? But then when I tap in by accident... It's a girl. No, then like, I realised, right? He used to slide into girls' DMs last time before he knew me. Then I was like, oh my god, you're the kind of guy. So I immediately told him that I saw his DMs. And that I tell him like, I don't like these kind of people. Like, I don't like guys who start into girls' DMs like that. Like, trying oh. to score. I, oh, I don't know how to react if I... <laughs> I've ever had, like, a girl that I met from an online dating app, right? Ask me to show her... Your DMs. No, all the other conversations I have with other people on the dating app. And this is, like, us meeting, like, maybe the first or second time. But why? Oh. Is that a king? Maybe no it's a king. Red flag. Like, no, curious. but I, I think I just, like, nah, see, lor, I, whatever. Lah. But then, when I thought about it, I was like... Weird request. Yeah. No, but I feel like if I were her, it would be that I'm curious whether you just like kind of copy paste, copy paste to like other girls or whether you are being different with me. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, cause I mean, on dating app, it's very likely that you are having copy very paste. similar conversations. Mm. I assume at yeah. first, or at least in the first like day or so, lah. But why? Like to me, is that you're you're setting yourself up for disappointment. You're giving another reason to find a problem with this date. Cause just chances are, yes, he is using the same pickup line for every girl. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to something. But like best case scenario is why it's all different, and then you might find another more like successful conversation happening elsewhere. You're just setting yourself up for disappointment. No, give your guy or girl prospect a chance. To my ex actually used to ch- check my phone, Ooh. Ooh. and I feel like, like that was actually a large part of why our com- uh, conversation, our relationship fell apart. I mean, okay, acknowledging that we were both not good for each other, so we were both quite toxic, and then like I. I also did not under. I also did not try to put that much effort to understand why she was feeling insecure about certain things. Blah 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 lah. Because you're such a player, you. <laughs> <laughs> so like before, like before we got together, she knows that there's this other friend of mine that I think is pretty Ooh. kind of stuff. Or like, who who who? It's way back when. So then after that, so can say name. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so then, <laughs> and then just so happened that like we go to school together very often because it's like the train is like on the way kind. Uh, right. Then, so she felt very insecure about that and then because like we talked quite a bit and then like we were, we were very close lah, like me and the other girl. Yeah, then so like because of that, like she always check your phone over, she read too much into certain messages, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, it yeah. just like stirs some shit lah. But you knew she was checking. Yeah, she, she, she sees it in front of me. Like she said, I want to see. Then you're like, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, phone. right now, right? Yeah. Right now, people at home also are watching, right? Right now. If your partner is holding your handphone <laughs> and, <laughs> a, and a notification pops up and uh. it's a message from this person X, right? That Will you feel nervous? <laughs> like, yeah. is there somebody, is there this person X that if they text you right now, right? And in this scenario, right, you will feel nervous. Who is that person X to you? Jing jing. Have? I have one. <laughs> <laughs> no, as in the no, if not, I see right. nervous in oh. a very different way. Huh? No, because it's my client, then I owe him one video. Oh. <laughs> 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 so this one is whoever holds phone also doesn't matter, yeah. but it's your partner <laughs> holding your phone. As in my partner's holding my phone, then what name that I see will Yeah, like a notification suddenly me. appear, like somebody yeah. message this person X message you, like the you, notification appears. Then I will feel like Then you will feel like, oh shit. Oh shit oh like you nervous that your like that your partner sees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there a person X? Uh, like he nervous that I see. No, you nervous that he's looking. Oh, I don't have. Wow. But I think he, I he will have get for triggered. him. Oh, okay. That means okay. if I see his phone and then I see a name pop up, then I'll be like, why? What the hell? Like, Ooh. I would want what to know hell? what is this? Ooh. His mom. <laughs> no, but it, it's like his ex. Because oh. they in, not in context. So I'll think like, eh, why are they talking? Oh. Yeah, but not like I think anything is going to happen. It's just like, why? What if you find out that they've actually been talking? But it's like, uh, how to say, it's like, say for example, like IGDM, that kind. Uh. So it's like reply each other's story, but then not really talking about their day. Lah. Are you okay, nice dick? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the IG is <laughs> always... <laughs> <laughs> no, because my, my boyfriend is friends with s- some of his exes. Yeah, oh. which I'm okay. No, yeah, some no, like, like one lot, only. Yeah. Like one only, but I'm okay. It's not what some means. I'm okay with that. What, what, I think they are friends. Why are you uncomfortable with that one ex? Because I think it didn't end well and and he got say like they are not in contact. Ma. So if I suddenly see that they are in contact, it's something damn weird to me because they won't ever talk to each other again. Right, yeah. right, right, right. But if they are if they do talk and then I see the messages and it's kind of like they are just like clarifying or like you know like just closing that chapter again then I'll be okay lah. But do you want your boyfriend to let you know after that that hey my ex spoke to me again it was just nothing this was it or if he doesn't say anything to you and you find out that they had this very docile conversation will you still be angry? Uh, no, I'll just be sus why he never said to me. But if yeah. he, after that, he said, by the way, I had this conversation. He don't have to show me the messages. Yeah, yeah. I'll be okay. I'll just be like, oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. No, but last time I was a bit insecure with my ex-boyfriend, right? Because when we we did LDR for a while, then when I, he didn't like reply my messages very promptly. Then I thought something was wrong. Then, right, I went to Facebook. No. Then I saw, right, he take picture with a girl he used to like before me very happily at her graduation. Oh, dear. Instead of replying you lah. As in like, he didn't tell me about the graduation. Like, he didn't tell me, oh, I'm going to go wish my friends like happy graduation. So I saw a picture of them like very happily and he has this smile, right, it's like... Annoying one. Like, my intuition tells me like, something going on because they like very yeah, yeah. close like Ooh. they you know there's, there was no like friendship barrier yeah, yeah. It was, no like, halal gap yeah the bible like couldn't pass through yeah, yeah. <laughs> then mm. I was like I was sus but then I told myself like no la I cannot be like so insecure about no. this like they are just friends la and then after that he break up with me and he went to that girl <gasps> she hot <not. laughs> she the hot audacity ah. <laughs> so yeah, your intuition she- is them chai yeah. yeah, so sometimes I feel like I don't, I don't know how to feel about this. Like, Trust your gut. Yeah, I feel Isn't like Isn't that a gut good eh. thing? No, but you see this girl, so maybe she had a gut feeling, but then like, people would think yeah, like, so she's like, possessive. So like I see on the Reddits and all that, right? Actually, a lot of them say, like, the moment you feel the need to check your partner's phone, right? Mm. Yeah. Your suspicion is usually correct. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's true. What? <laughs> no, because someone, something will tell you is off. promote unhealthy behaviour. No, but I think you don't actually have to carry out the, the phone checking. It's yeah. when you feel the need to, that's enough for you to like, know that something is mm-hmm. up. But the actions was wrong. La. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be. Why if you're a shitty that. detective? What if you're... Maybe. 
<laughs> no, but I think if <laughs> your you, sixth sense is always wrong. <laughs> if if you read the book Bling by Malcolm Gladwell, wow. the main thesis of the entire book, right, which actually has applied in my life pretty accurately, you your intuition is almost always right because your gut feeling actually isn't a gut feeling. It is based on oh, m- microseconds, right, of your brain taking all your experience in life and everything that you've subconsciously absorbed, right, to come to that one decision because your gut feeling is your fight or flight. Right, and that yeah, is yeah. about survival at the end of the day. And so it's actually very, very powerful and you shouldn't dismiss it. <laughs> so you're lying in your, in your, you're lying on your sofa watching Netflix, pizza on your belly, <laughs> then suddenly you... Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> then you spray your spider web. <laughs> then her phone. <laughs> nice. No, so like to round off the conversation, right? He actually kind of summarized his post with, I now realize that trust is something that needs to be earned, not assumed. Yeah. Which ah, I was like, earn? As in, I feel like trust is lost. You know what I mean? Like, you don't ever uh, it, earn Trust is given to- until it's broken. Yeah. Why all these Tumblr no, no, codes no, coming it's, up? It's fair. Correct, like, correct. basically, both it's, it's, starts you off... Back on <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh? No. La. <laughs> like, both both start off with a full meter of trust and you deplete that by, by certain things. Like, as opposed to <laughs> you filling the trust meter up. Sorry, <laughs> this is such stupid no, like So, it starts from 100%. Yeah, I think it starts on 100, but when it goes down, right, it can really go up again. Mm. I really I really hope my friend's not watching this, right, but he, I got this friend who's a player. Ooh. Then he got into a relationship. Player. Then he cheat during the relationship. Then he, <sighs> when he was in Bali, the, the partner found out. Like, I think the first day. Then, oh. then in order to make it up to her, right? He, he tattooed. He tattooed the word trust. <laughs> <laughs> No, then they stay together, but after after a while, then they break up. Right? Yeah, <laughs> then now you have to wear watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost similar, like tattooing face. No, but but how can be other is things. the tattoo? If you it's do, rubber, it's like the generic. Can be a religious thing. Like, no, but tattoo capital. can be removed. No, I'm saying like because Jared has face on his uh, wrist. Oh, I, I I didn't know. But that's them rubber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Shit. Actually, I have a friend, but I, I hope they're not watching. You have a friend? So. Yeah, one. <laughs> like, he found out that his girlfriend was cheating on her, right? Because, uh, on him. Because she, he went over to her house. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm, I'm butchering this story. But basically, he went over to her house. And then, he was borrowing her iPad. And she got Telegram installed on both iPad and iPhone. Uh. Then, she went to the toilet. <gasps> and then, she basically, right, the messages from the guy just keep coming. As though they are both texting. So, she was in the toilet texting the other guy. And then, all the notifications come out like, Hey, baby, and all this. Right? So, then, after he just like, what the f***? He clicked. And they are basically both just texting and saying like, She's saying like, yeah, you know, so boring, like being with him and all this nonsense. And then like, and then she just completely forgot that she installed Telegram on her iPad. Oh, it was so girl, man. mad. So mad. Always remember to remove your devices. On Always Telegram. don't cheat, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Comment down below whatever we ask you to comment down below just now, please. And thank you. Like, share, subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Can you see me waving or am I out of the camera? <laughs> I think you are in the camera. <laughs> Talking Take about anuses, right? The one time Speaking I went. Speaking of anuses. <laughs> no, as in huge segue may not include. But then, <laughs> <laughs> but then that time I was on white coat. Then I was because I wanted to see a doctor, but then I don't want to go out of my house, right? So then I had like some problems down there, like that I I needed to check down there in front or down there behind. Yeah, I'm not too sure now. Is it like anus in, or the in front? In front. Okay, oh. okay. So I just wanted to like clarify and ask like what's wrong lah. Then the the doctor say, uh, do you mind to put your phone down there? To show me. Then I was like, Whoa. I he, cause the doctor asked me, Are you comfortable with that? And then I'm like, oh my god, like no. <laughs> cause they will have like, what if they record? Yeah, they record and then, like, phone not safe. <laughs>